Um, I think it's the hunger to to want more. Um, the coach always emphasizes that, you know, we can always improve, we can always get better, and you know, we must never be content with the level that we're at. You know, um, so he always pushes us um, to do well to push to the level beyond the next, um, and that's the mentality that we all have. And I think you know, coming to Sundowns as a player, you know, you have to be motivated because there's a lot of competition. Um, it's healthy competition. Everyone gets a run, and you know when you get given the chance, you have to take it. And fortunately, you know we've been doing that um, the past two seasons. And you know I'm just proud to be a part of this wonderful team. Um, I keep learning, keep improving every day, and yeah, you know the sky is the limit. Uh, good, good evening. Sorry. Uh, congratulations on everything you said. A couple of weeks ago, your coach said one of the best box defenders. Uh, how would you respond to that? And what is it that you personally, you've, you've improved on ever since arriving at this club? Yeah, you know, um, obviously flattered by that statement, but, um, you know, it's to always improve. I think that's always just been my motto, to always improve. Um, you know, Sundowns, we don't do a lot of defending because we always have the ball. We're always penetrating. So the moments that we do get to defend, you know, we have to, really come and show what we're actually good at because um, as a defender my primary job is to defend um, you know so I think I learn a lot from all the players that I play around you know there's a lot of quality there and you know we take small things from each other um, to help improve the collective and you know I can only say it's a collective effort that um, I'm improving my game because I'm playing with um, such wonderful players. Grant, uh, I'm, I'm looking at uh, the season that you guys had. I mean, there were coaching changes in terms of the structure, something internally. But how did you guys get uh, to stay focused and stay on course with all what was happening around uh, the coaching changes? Did it somewhat affect you uh, mentally as, as players? Uh, not necessarily. I think there's a lot of experienced players um, within the team, um, players who've been there, done there, done it all. Um, so, and our job at Sundowns as players is to actually play, you know, what happens outside, um, we don't have control of. The only thing we had control of is us being on the pitch, and that's what we were focused on. Uh, and just to pick up on the, uh, that's because you must have a part You were in and out of the pitch, you know, the time you get this you can fight. For a player that can have you questioning, how good you are, abilities number one. When when you get to Sundowns, do you ever think back to those years and say, maybe this might have happened a bit earlier? So much could have come out because you've spoken about this, the best of defender in, in terms of defender of the season and things like that. And then, secondly, what would you say playing for Sundowns has improved in terms of your game? Yeah, I don't know if I must answer this first or second, but. Um, I know it was the first. The first was you know, after those loan moves oh. uh, and super sport tags. Do you ever have a oh. point where when you look <clears> at <throat> what they're doing now, you see yourself in the <laughs> To be honest, no. Um, I think everything happens at its own time. Um, and I think the time that I came to Sundowns was the right time for me because I felt even as a player mentally, you know, I was um, a lot more equipped to be able to sort of withstand what. Uh, the expectations at sundowns um so i think what if i came here earlier and then you know um i couldn't maintain the standards of sundown so i think i came here um well equipped and you know everything happened at the right time and i'm fortunate to be part of sundowns um and i'm always willing to achieve more um and then the second question yeah yeah, I think it's improved a lot because at Sundowns, um, everything is so specific. Like, you know, the coach goes into detail about everything. Um, so it helps you improve elements of your game that you didn't even know that were there, you know. So I think that played a lot in sort of the way I also play because it's brought a lot of belief within the talent that I, I possess. And, you know, a uh, coach always motivates us to express ourselves when you get on the field. And... That's something maybe that I also missed because I was sort of in my shell um, with all the other teams.
that I played for. And, you know, when I'm here, I feel like I express myself a lot more and I'm, you know, the player that um, I've always wanted to, to become. Um, Grand Valley from SABC. Um, the club has been getting some rave reviews on the continent, especially um, if you like the last weekend, um, how, how things turned out there. Uh, how important is to, is, is, is to make it happen um, in this second style? Go beyond just uh, Sundowners being, getting those rave reviews. I mean, it was also, if you look at your um, group performance, group stage performance last season, and that was second best uh, to no one. And um, so now that this one has been you've been crowned here, how important um, is to get into that space? And and also maybe the second question is the importance of entrenching yourself uh, in the Bafana setup, especially looking forward to the big one in in January. Yeah, um, I think to answer the first question. Um, we keep our feet firmly planted on the ground. Um, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We know that you know even in the semi-finals, this is just half time for us. Um, there's going to be a big one on Saturday, you know, and we're happy that we we got through with the league and all the other competitions, so there won't be any distractions for us, and um, we'll be motivated, obviously, to improve on um, last season's um, exit, and also, you know. We were obviously at Bra Alex's funeral today, you know, and a lot of emphasis was put on what he meant to this club um, and how he grew with it, you know. So we'll also be playing in his memory and it's going to be important for us to leave everything on the field um, on Saturday so that we give ourselves a chance to advance to the finals. <coughs> yeah, no. Also to answer your Bafana question, um, I think it's just going to take, from my side, um, a lot of consistency um, to play a lot more. You know, I've been having a lot of niggles, you know, that have been interrupting my season. Um, so I think I'll go back even in the off season, you know, to work on my strength so that, you know, I try as much to avoid such niggles so that it doesn't um, delay me from um, being called up to, to Bafana. Uh, Congratulations on winning the league today. Uh, from Soccer Laguna today. I wanted to find out ahead of Saturday's game, um, what does it mean to you to potentially be um, like on the precipice of but achieving history in the sense of me leading this Sundance team to another Champions League final um, against Midad, against the reigning champions, you know? Yeah, um, the one thing at the beginning of the season the coach told us was that um, this group of players needs to write its own history. Um, and I think we've given ourselves a chance to do that. Um, so at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to us and how much we actually going to want that second star. But it's something that's obviously big in our minds, big. Um, but then, like, we just, this is everything that we want. This is the big fish. So we're all motivated. Um, we obviously do understand that WIDAD is also the big team, you know, I think they're the current champions, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be a tough task, but I think we've been challenged a lot. Um, I mean, just landing in Morocco, you know, at the airport, there was a lot of drama that was happening there. But, you know, these are the challenges that we have to go through for us to actually reach the, the end goal. So, um, yeah, nobody is going to distract us. Um, we know our mission and we know what we need to do to get it. Thank you, bro.